Sony has just released a brand new trio of lenses designed specifically for content creators that work with APS-C size cameras, the 10 to 20 millimeter F4 PZ, the 15 millimeter F1.4, and an 11 millimeter F1.8. Now this trio prioritizes wide focal lengths, compact size, and relatively bright designs. Since wide angle lenses are hard to find on an APS-C camera, these are welcome updates and additions. Wide angle is perfect for selfies and vlogging, as well as a day in the life type recording. Each lens is compact and lightweight, making them easy to carry around and travel with. They are fast, which means they will perform well under low light conditions and provide better depth of field control. All three lenses are Sony E-mount and built specifically for APS-C size sensors, perfect for the ZV-E10 or even the A6000, 6400 or 6100, so let's roll. First, let's look at the zoom, the 10 to 20 millimeter F4 PZG, built to replace the very popular 10 to 18 millimeter F4 OSS, which is nearly 10 years old at this point. The new design is smaller and lighter, weighing 6.2 ounces and measures 2.2 inches long. Another key design upgrade is having both internal zoom and focusing compared to the older version that would have to extend when zooming. This 10 to 20 millimeter F4 maintains the same barrel length when zoomed or focused, and thus its center of gravity remains the same, making it well suited for gimbal work. The 10 to 20 millimeter is a 15 to 30 millimeter, 35 millimeter equivalent zoom range, which spans a useful focal range for arm length selfies or architectural slash interiors, as well as narrowing in on a tighter, more natural looking wide field of view for more general shooting purposes. It is a G lens, so it features upgraded optics and solid build quality. It has several aspherical and low dispersion elements to help control distortion and color fringing for better sharpness, clarity, and more accurate rendering. It has a constant F4 aperture throughout. The final key upgrade though is the power zoom design, which can be controlled by the zoom ring or zoom lever on the lens or zoom lever on the camera like with the ZV-E10 or via a custom configured button on other camera bodies. Remote zoom is also possible from something like Sony's wireless shooting grip or from a smartphone. The AF is handled by two linear motors which are nearly silent and super accurate and there's minimal focused breathing thanks to the lens design. All these new upgrades and additions make the new 10 to 20 mm f4 a worthy replacement for the legacy 10 to 18 mm f4. The new lens keeps the speed and versatility of a zoom, but packs in some huge upgrades in handling, physical design, and optical quality, making it the best choice for APS-C vloggers looking for a wide-angle zoom. Next, we got two prime lenses to talk about, the 15mm f1.4 and the 11mm f1.8. These two guys have a lot of similarities, but some differences. First up, the 15mm, which is a 22.5mm, 35mm equivalent prime with a super fast f1.4 maximum aperture that is the fastest APS-C lens Sony has ever made. It is a G lens with an emphasis on optical quality. It uses aspherical, ED, and super ED glass for impressive sharpness, resolution, and clarity. The bright f1.4 design allows for shallow depth of field and selective focus, isolating subjects against busy backgrounds. It has a minimum focus distance of 6.7 inches, giving a 0.15 times maximum magnification, so a great choice for wide-angle close-ups. It is lighter and smaller than similar fast aperture primes, measuring 2.7 inches long and weighing 7.7 .7 ounces. The manual aperture on the barrel can be declicked for smoother work with video. Now we turn to the 11mm f1.8, which is the widest APS-C prime from Sony, as it is a 16.5mm, 35mm equivalent focal length. The bright design of the f1.8 is plenty for depth of field control and low light shooting. Minimal focus distance is 4.7 inches and a 0.2 times maximum magnification, which will help capture those close-up subjects. The 11mm is the more portable of the two primes, measuring 2.25 inches long and weighing 6.3 ounces. An ultra-wide focal length is a perfect match for the active mode image stabilization in Sony cameras as the sensor needs to crop in slightly, but this ultra-wide lens will help compensate for that, making it ideal for those day-in-the-life uh, walking selfie shots. Overall, if you prefer the speed or even just the minimalist aesthetic of a single focal length, these two primes are solid wide-angle choices for any of Sony's APS-C cameras. Wide enough for vlogging, architecture, travel, etc., and fast enough for creating shallow depth of field effects and working effectively in ambient light conditions. 
In summation, Sony has released three new fantastic wide options for APS-C cameras that are built specifically with hybrid shooting in mind as they are optimized for vlogging and photo. The compact nature makes them easy to travel with while the G lens emphasizes their optical quality. All three prioritize AF performance using linear motors for speed and precision. The 10 to 20 millimeter F4 is an important update for one of the best APS-C lenses in Sony's lineup, while the new Primes are fresh additions to the APS-C lens lineup. How would these new compact lenses help you make your content? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Jake with B&H, just keep rolling.